In an interview sometime last year with the French news outlet Game Cult, producer of Animal Crossing New Horizons, Nogami-san, stated, <clears throat> Given the number of cards and figures available, we obviously think New Horizons will be compatible with Amiibo, but I cannot tell more about this compatibility at this stage of development. However, some eagle-eyed fans have noticed that on the back of Animal Crossing's New Horizons box art, Amiibo support is confirmed. But here we are. Animal Crossing New Horizons is nearly a month away, and we have no idea how Amiibo are going to be compatible with New Horizons. And if you include cards, there's nearly 400 Animal Crossing series Amiibo, and that has the potential to have some really important features in the game. And we just, we have no idea, no idea what they're going to do. But fret not, I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and today we're here to share with you a brief lesson on how Animal Crossing has used Amiibo in the past and how we're thinking they could use them in the future. And before we take a look at Amiibo, let's see how Nintendo and Animal Crossing originally tested the waters with cards. The e-reader is a peripheral that came out back in 2002 from Nintendo officially. It was compatible with the Game Boy Advance and could also function with the GameCube with the Game Boy Advance to GameCube link cable. It utilized special cards that you would slide in here that had little data strips on them and could input information into this device and could play games, it could give you messages, all sorts of weird stuff. Specifically with Animal Crossing on the GameCube, you could take a Game Boy Advance and you would connect an e-reader to it. And then you could connect this to your GameCube with a link cable. And then Nintendo released these special Animal Crossing e-reader cards, which you would then scan into the e-reader and you could unlock special items and different things in Animal Crossing on the GameCube by using a, there was a special kiosk or something of, of that nature. But the cool thing with some of these cards is they actually had numbers on the backside. There was a little password back there. You could type in that password into the game and send a letter to some random villager and they would send you a special item that was different than the one that you would get from just scanning the card. Now the cards also have some information about the villagers on the back, like this cube one here. It tells me he's an Aquarius. He's wearing the G logo shirt, which is just the GameCube logo t-shirt. His pet phrase is d -d dude and then it gives a little profile about him as well. I think they made around 300 of these e-reader cards back in the day. They're pretty hard to come by now. Not only could you unlock different pieces of furniture with these Animal Crossing cards, you could also unlock special KK songs, you could unlock different patterns for t-shirt designs, there were NES games that you could unlock, different wallpaper designs, there were all sorts of different types of e-reader cards that you could use with Animal Crossing. And this went over okay. The problems with e-reader was that the cards are just too tough to swipe, it's annoying having to swipe cards in general. Uh, it, it, was, it was a fun gimmick, but it just didn't really take off, I think, like Nintendo had hoped. And then if we fast forward all the way to the year 2015, Nintendo treated us to two new Animal Crossing games. Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, which I, I don't have. It's a 3DS game. It's basically an interior decorating game, but with Animal Crossing characters and you're, you basically work for the HHA, the Happy Home Academy. And then they also released for the Wii U, lots of you know about this one, this is Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. This is basically a party game, mini game compilation. There's a board game in here, sort of like Mario Party, and then there's just a bunch of other mini games sort of sprinkled around throughout the game. Now, neither of these were really bad games, but they weren't great. They definitely were the last thing that Animal Crossing fans wanted. But the one thing that Animal Crossing fans did get that they were pretty excited about out of this whole transaction are right in this box. They're Animal Crossing Amiibo. Nintendo created a whole series of Amiibo specially designed around Animal Crossing. They came out with, I believe, 16 different figures. I have a couple of them here. I should have bought them while they were easier to find, but now they're seeming to get harder to find now, now that Animal Crossing is on the horizon. And they also made a ton of new Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. Now, if you've seen any videos where I like to talk about Animal Crossing and Amiibo, you'll see me talking about these cards. I don't have them all because there's a lot, but I've been collecting them for a while. And basically what these did in Happy Home Designer is you could scan one of the Amiibo in and then that villager would come into your world. You didn't really have like a town in Happy Home Designer, but they would come into your world and you could design a home for them themed around whatever their specific needs were. 
And then in Amiibo Festival, you could use the figures as your player token in the board game. And then the cards allowed you to play as different characters within different mini games. Now, once again, these cards were cool. The figures were neat, but it just really wasn't what Animal Crossing fans were wanting out of a new Animal Crossing game. But then, I believe it might have been 2016, Nintendo just out of nowhere announced the new Welcome Amiibo update for Animal Crossing New Leaf on 3DS. Where is it? Right here. Animal Crossing New Leaf on 3DS. This update was completely free and it added Amiibo support to Animal Crossing New Leaf along with a ton of other new features. Probably the biggest feature in my opinion that came to the game though was the ability to use the Amiibo to invite whatever villager you wanted into the game as long as you had the respective Amiibo card. You could invite them into your town and then you could either get a, like a special item from them or you could invite them to move into your village. It was a huge deal because everyone knows it's a complete nightmare trying to meet up with and find the right villager that you want to have live there. I personally, back in the day when I played on GameCube, Cube was one of my favorite characters. So was Kiki and Olivia. And I would have loved to have them in my 3DS town. But thanks to the Welcome Amiibo update, as long as you had the Amiibo cards, you could at least get your villagers in the town. Or if you had a friend with them, you only needed to scan the Amiibo card once. It wasn't like you had to scan it five days in a row over a period of time. You just scanned it once, you invited them in. And I, I think there was a little bit more to it than that, but it really wasn't that complicated. Nintendo even did a couple other crazy things. You could use specific Zelda Amiibo and Splatoon Amiibo to have special characters move into your village, like Epona and Wolf Link. And then there were even two squirrels that were themed around Callie and Marie from Splatoon. You could also use Amiibo cards along with the camera app on the 3DS to see your characters with augmented reality within the real world. And as long as you had the respective Amiibo card, they added new mini games that you could play with your Amiibo cards on the 3DS. There were tons of features. This, this update was absolutely absolutely huge. And now here we are about a month and a half away from the release of Animal Crossing on Switch. And we know that Amiibo support is coming to the game, but we have no idea how it works at all. We don't know if you're going to import villagers. We don't know if you'll get special items. Are, there going to, are they going to introduce new mini games? Is there going to be something completely different coming to the game that none of us will expect at all? Now, I personally think the best thing that they could do would be to allow you to invite your villagers with the Amiibo cards. Obviously, I think that's great because I have tons of them. But if you're someone who is new to Animal Crossing or you didn't buy the cards when they were available or what if the price skyrockets when they announce that Amiibo cards are going to allow you to invite villagers into your town, if, if that were a thing. Look at the prices on the secondhand market. They would just go through the roof. And that would be extremely unfair to anyone who doesn't own these cards. When Animal Crossing Amiibo first came out, they really didn't sell well at all. The Series 1 cards, they flew off the shelf, I guess, a little bit. Not, not as crazy as one might have hoped. But then anything after that, Series 2 and 3 and 4, they sold super slow. And then Nintendo even came up with a special Welcome Amiibo set for Animal Crossing New Leaf. And it had only 50 cards in it where the other sets had 100 and they drastically reduced the print run on that. And cards now from that set are extremely expensive. So if you have any of those, definitely hold on to them. I think the safest bet for Nintendo would just allow you to unlock special items with the cards, maybe special furniture, different clothing, maybe that the villagers would wear, like maybe exclusively. Maybe they could do something like they do with Smash Bros Ultimate with the spirits where maybe once every week or every so often they allow you the chance to unlock some of these items but if you have the amiibo you can get them right away just so that way they give everybody a chance to get them somehow and they're not locked behind this because I don't see Nintendo reprinting these Amiibo anytime soon be because of how poorly they did sell. People were dropping these Animal Crossing Amiibo down to $1.99, $2.99. I think that's what I paid for most of mine was $2.99. And that's when, they, considering when they originally retailed for $12.99, that's pretty low. And if they lack villagers behind it or some crazy exclusive furniture, I could see it angering fans pretty, pretty bad. I do think it would be really nice if Nintendo implemented more of their just standard series amiibo into the game. Maybe some Mario ones, some more Zelda ones. I mean, there's a million Smash Bros amiibo under the sun now, so why not do something with those? But Nintendo also needs to make sure that whatever features they're implementing, they can still make money off of as well. And currently they don't have any real plans to release any other amiibo. I mean, they did say that they were going to release an amiibo for every Smash Bros character, 
We're, right now we're just waiting on the DLC characters and we haven't seen concept art or even a slight hint that those are coming. So now's our chance to ask you, what do you think the best way of utilizing Amiibo in Animal Crossing New Horizons is going to be? Do you think there'd be a big backlash if they allowed you to invite villagers into your town with the cards? Or do you think it's going to be just fine? Do you think people will play nice and share their cards with everybody and we're just gonna have a big happy Animal Crossing party? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then make sure to invite that subscribe button to your village and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and we'll see you next time. One of the bullet points on the back of the original Animal Crossing box is pulling weeds.